what's going on everyone so this isn't going to be pretty but uh you know uh, someone's got to do it so without further ado a business model for joy and i i was looking into this and i have got more infuriated and more infuriated infuriated i think this word but let's get into the, the details so current concerns this was uh from a forum post uh, by Boro, Mr. Boro, I think, dot ETH. He says, quick chat with Dimitri, Leet, and Brandon, myself. Most of the creators join YPP to earn money. Most of the creators don't have any idea how to monetize their audience, which is true. And we are re rewarding creators for minting tokens and don't have any USDT flow in into the system. So that is the uh, bottom line. We don't have a business model. And so creators get joy for promoting joy stream. And that's kind of, that's what he said. Creators are minting new joy tokens and getting uh, getting that from creating tokens. And as we can see, that's that's a leak in the system because it's we're exchanging time for joy or content for joy instead of a USDT, which puts an off balance in the uh, the balancing of the token price. And so if we're not having the same amount of in as we do out, it makes an imbalancement. So we're, we're trading time for joy versus investors are trading USD for joy, hoping that the price of joy goes out. And so if we look at the numbers, look at the weekly numbers, like the amount of viewership as a way to bring on boarding for uh, creators is non-existent. So, and just as um, Boro said, the creators just don't know how to monetize their audience. And we'll get, we'll get to that. So problems with the joy price, it's not just creators getting minted for new joy, it's all workers. So everyone from uh, coders to sp holding space, there's way more that I just didn't realize, but um, why this is happening, I have no idea, but uh, we'll get into that. Uh, it only takes a few hundred dollars to bring down the price, which we'll get over in a moment. And then increased liabilities outweighs holders, bad for creators, bad for investors, good for workers only. Um, so workers are getting, and, and I mean, creators get paid, right? But uh, Ultimately, we get paid for creating content. Workers get paid for creating content. So, I mean, it's good for us, but it's, for us, it looks bad for our viewers because we're the ones that are like, hey, come invest in my, our creator token or come invest in this joy token. And in reality, it's, not, it's pulling away from them. So, it's a, I mean, it's good for our pockets, but it's not good for the viewers. So the, the viewers and investors are getting shafted, which is bad for the, the creators, but the workers doesn't really matter because they don't have to uphold a, uh, an image or anything like that. They just get paid. So current business model for Joy, and this is kind of what uh, Boro was saying, is all other possible business models can flow from this, but a lot of this I don't agree with, and I'm gonna go over why in a, in a bit, but uh, I'm gonna go over a different way. NFTs that give you just part of ad revenue, I mean, that does bring in money, it just brings in, uh, it just splits up the joy, right? Like, it, it's, if if the ad revenue was burnt, the t like the, the tokens, then yes, um, but if it can pull out the money, uh, from being minted or from being uh, used as a way to cash out, then I think that's a good thing. Um, negotiate deals with ads with Web3 companies. We don't even need to do Web3 companies. We can do Web2 companies. We'll get over that in a second. Uh, premium gated content, which video, which is on the roadmap, we'll talk about that. And creators with big audiences on the app to have affiliate links and partnerships of their own, which we'll get into. So th currently this is just YouTube. I mean, it's, uh, it's we can watch some videos. Um, there's no really rhyme or reason why I'm being shown any particular videos or why I would watch something in Russian or Spanish. Um, I have no idea what, what it, it shows. So it's just like a, a, a 
most of it I can't even read. So like one, my viewers aren't gonna come here. So there's that. So it's a lesser form of YouTube. Uh, in the avatar, we have all wrong. Uh, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, and this is kind of the, the we, uh, the council thinks that the viewers are the, essentially the, uh, the avatar, and that's not correct. It, it will be in the future, but right now it's, that's not what we should be focusing on. Um, I think, so Tomato says, I think the biggest problem right now is what we had to solve is immediate impact on market cap is solving joy awareness. I, I don't think that's 100% true, and I'll get into that in a moment, but uh, the other one is, Dimitri says, advertisers need volume. And so I'll, again, I'll, I'll show you why that's not true either. So let's get into it. Um, right now, this is what we think, uh, the council thinks is going to bring the most amount of market cap and revenue to joy. They're gonna get creators. The creators are gonna bring their followers to Gleave. There's gonna be more viewers on Gleave, which is gonna get more advertisers, which then is gonna bring more creators, and we're able to grow it that way. But creators are not bringing viewers. They don't want to. There's no reason to them. There's no incentive. Uh, and for what the return on investment is, uh, for that, it's, it's very minimum. So uh, to, to try and push everyone to Gleave when all their viewership is already somewhere else doesn't make sense. So it's more like this. Investors pay into creators and into workers, and workers and creators cash out into USDT, and then price goes down. And that's the business model as of right now. Um, and so we need to change that. And so we have to think of what creators want uh, in, in a sense, because if we look at what creators want, then we can kind of figure out w how we can place what they want and make a lot of money, right? And so creators want to make money, okay. They also want recognition um, and they want freedom. And so if you, I mean, if you look at a creator, the reason why they're uh, creating is either they're doing it because they need money or they are doing it for recognition, or they just do it because, I mean, there's a million other reasons, but that's the, the majority is like, they need to make money, or they want to get some kind of praise for whatever they're showing to other people, or they just want the freedom to be creative and do whatever they want. And so that's kind of the, the, the rationale. Viewers, they want entertainment, they want to learn something or they want escape, escapism. So they're bored, they want to be entertained, they want to uh, escape their current situation by living in another world essentially by watching other people. And so that's what viewers want. They, they're, they love their platform that they're on, escaping uh, all the time, you know, watching their YouTubes, watching their TikToks uh, and doing that. Uh, the, the, and most of them stay on one platform. I mean, most of us has our, our major platform that we stay on for viewing things. My wife, she's always on Instagram. She just likes Instagram. Uh, she doesn't feel like going on really any other platforms. Myself, I'm mostly on YouTube. I find the content on YouTube much more interesting. I can learn that sort of thing. So as a viewer, I typically will stay on one little platform it just has better content for my purposes. Plus I follow certain people which boost the algorithm to show me content that I want. So it just it makes my the viewing experience better. Advertisers, they want return on investment, they want brand awareness, and they want scalability. And that's all things that Gleave does not have, unfortunately. But YouTube does. And so if we look at these, we can earn, okay, for creators, we can earn by connecting our channel, get some $50 uh, sync, $2 you know, uh, per video with a cap of five, I think, or three, so $6 a, a week. Uh, so like, tw like $24 a month. Uh, if, that's, if that's what the price is, and obviously the price goes down, with, Joy, but then I mean you're capped at certain points. Like you can't keep joining Discord, you can't keep joining X, and so it doesn't bring people back to Cleave. It doesn't bring creators back to Cleave, and that's a major thing. Is you want to bring creators back, 
and keep them on that, uh, that dopamine fix. Um, and that routine and that pattern. And that's exactly what you're trying to create is pattern behavior. And so I, I was talking to um, a buddy of mine and I was like, hey, this is what we're doing with Leave. I'm very excited. I can't wait to show you guys because this is my kind of inner circle of, uh, of people. And so he's like, I need a simpler way to do this. I can't figure out how to make money from that platform. And so they're talking about Leave. And so unfortunately, like they just, there's uh, well, there's other ways to make things. There's other he he knows there's better ways to make money and it's not with Gleave, so he's not going to put that effort into it. Uh, another this is the same another person in our group, and she said almost two k in one week and one day, uh, and this is on TikTok only on TikTok. And so she's like, oh man, I'm getting views and followers uh, all in one day and one week and getting insane growth. Because she sees the metrics, she's getting that recognition. There you go. She, she, you have to think of the psychology of what creators want. And you have to hit that dopamine fix. And if you don't hit that dopamine fix, they're not going to stay. And they're going to be even sadder when money goes down and they lose money. So there's that aspect to it. Problems, problems. Creators don't know how to make money. We kind of talked about this before and we're gonna talk about it now. Be the platform to give them a way to earn. We kind of talked about this previously and I'm gonna go over how and my vision of this in a bit, but uh, create a platform where they can earn. Yeah, well, so this is kind of what I envision. So you would essentially go to your earnings tab uh, and then right here would be like this box, a little clickable thing that opens up this and it'd be like bounties. And uh, you would earn $30 for, you know, mentioning Bet Fairy and doing that or $100 for Raid Shadow Legends or $10 for uh, Studio. Um, for like mentioning Gleave or Creator Tokens or anything like that. And so you would say apply to this and another page would co show up like Gleave and it would have like what it's all about, when you would have to talk, um, you know, mention Creator Token 101, uh, Bull Token or Epic Token or Lead Token or Money Token. Uh, and then, you know, by doing that, then you get a payout of you know X, 100 joy or uh, 10,000 joy or whatever that is. Uh, and then these are the suggested talking points. And then the payout is this, and then you would just submit it. And in doing so, you would essentially earn, uh, submit the actual stream or video that you've done that. And it would be reviewed and then it would go into your payments and that could be part of your channel revenue sharing. Um, so it'd be like kind of a closed loop because you would no longer have to rely on growing a, like a, a channel, like you would only need to find advertisers. And so that leads us into the advertisers need volume. I mean, if we give them a platform, they can go on TikTok, they can go on YouTube, they can go on Facebook, they can write an article, they can do Twitter posts, they can do uh, a live stream, they can choose what platform they want or the advertisers can. Can We don't need to be, we, don't, we can just be the um, platform where creators come to actually get paid like I was talk, showing in that previous demonstration. And so, I mean, the, like I said, the, plot, the volume is already there. We just need to be the platform to say, hey, why use your platform. You already have your, your platforms that you're already on. Come to us if you want to make money. That's it. Um, so we don't need to bring awareness. Um, because the advertisers are going to, and this is the like the problem. So joy awareness, like we don't need to bring awareness to joy. Like creators are going to do that for us because they're going to talk to other creators. But um, the solution, advisors are buying, uh, advertisers are buying joy, outside revenue, increasing the price of joy. And if that increases the price of joy, 
the price of joy or investors will see that and the price of joy will go up creators will be able to tell other creator friends about joy bringing in more creators organically without ambassadors or people trying to find uh, quote unquote content creators um, because organically we're going to be able to uh, to get those creators and we'll be talking about later on how uh, we can maximize this and use uh, some of the things that bath time said and tomato said um, but with that later on we can have video communities which is now what joy stream should be right like we're kind of we put the cart before the horse when we should have instead of being a platform for youtube we should be a a platform for creators and so um where we can create our own communities if we need to if we want to uh organically because they are buying into our creator tokens right instead of being a platform for everyone it's a craft form platform for our communities and there's already platforms like it but we'll, we'll get into that in a, in a bit so price of joy and inflation people talk about this that oh it's only a, a, a small inflation of four percent which is kind of like a uh a, a the man behind the curtain kind of uh, thing. And I really hate that because you have to look at the whole understanding of joy to really uh, understand where the problem is with the price of joy, because it's not just inflation. Um, it's just not uh, minting. It's a mixture of things. And I think that people, th this is why people just don't understand crypto is because people just don't look at the whole picture. They look at one little thing and they think it's a whole business and they just don't understand that. And so we'll go into that right now. And so if we look at the depth, uh, it only takes $760 on Mexi to, uh, to, to lower the price. It only takes gate 400, BitGet 300, BitMart 300. XT 400 and so that's been going down they recently just fixed this as you can see it went up quite a bit the spread is quite different in one day this was yesterday and this is today uh, so definitely some money went into uh, uh, increasing this depth count I don't know the back workings I can only guess of um, what this is but um, if we're paying workers to work with their time and they're getting joy and they're getting paid a salary and they only need you know three hundred dollars to drop the price you know two percent and each worker is getting paid three hundred dollars a week i'm just making up numbers and we have 10 workers you're looking at quite the drop in a short amount of time weekly and we can look, just look at the price chart about that but we're not going to because we already know what the price chart looks like and so um we also have a, a income issue. We've talked about this in the very beginning that right now Joystream doesn't really have a model, but we can look at the treasury and know that at one point there was 38,000 uh, that came in and that has been dwindling over the last uh, six months. And even more so because the price has dropped quite a bit uh, and that treasury now is at 31,000 in stable coins. Um, so that's very concerning too, especially when uh, the price of tokens, as they keep selling, they will need to be refilled. And there has been a few refills, which I think was for the ten thousand, a few ten thousand and seven thousands on the price. Uh, and as uh, salaries stay the same, and as actually prices increase, uh, this will dwindle even faster. And so we need to cut spending. Uh, council comp uh, compensation uh, was uh, talked about two weeks ago, and I think they just actually had a new proposal with a two increase in the price of um, what they're earning, and that is uh, that is ridiculous. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, if we just look at the last four months, the price went from a point we have dropped to fifty percent uh in four months and if the price has dropped 50 percent in, in four months like why did the council deserve a raise uh because they haven't done anything uh and they're just bad with spending uh, i mean we can look at 
here the price um, and the liquidity for the price of joy in just a few days four days uh, has dropped about eight hundred dollars in liquidity and about a gain of 100 what is it a million no a hundred thousand in uh in not uh, eight hundred thousand in joy tokens in four days so you can only see how this is going to keep going really fast but i mean that's not all I mean, we can get into a proposal for uh using web three web two spending uh you know getting the plus plan for a uh a web for a form tool that you can get for free uh or use other free alternatives without spending money uh it's just i think there's just so such bad spending going on um i mean we can look at the the payments just for multi-signers uh, every month. I mean, I, this might be an uh, old proposal. I haven't really checked into late, but $200, $1,400 a month uh, just to sign as a multi signer, I think is just ridiculous. I mean, these are just some of the things, and I haven't looked at all of it, but just some of the horrible, horrible spending and issues that we have with uh, why the token price is just bleeding for what it is. Um, and so let's get into my proposal and how we can actually fix this. One, we need to get rid of a paid council. Uh, one, if I think the people that are in council shouldn't rely on it as a job, it should be something that they envision the, in growing the business and have a future performance-based um, incentive. I also, I think that uh, it should be a creator and not non-creators because creators actually know what they want and what other creators want. And I think that everyone in the council currently have no idea what they're doing, uh, nor do they have a business, uh, I think, aspect. So that's just my own personal opinion. Um, so right off the bat, we can get rid of this. Uh, this is not doing anything. Um, this is nothing. So we save all sorts of money. I mean, look at what we're spending. $67,000. I don't know if that's a month or what, but that's a lot. Um, and I think it's every 30 days, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we can get rid of builders. We can get rid of storage because we're not storing any videos anymore. We uh, can get rid of distribution because we're not dis distributing anything. Uh, no longer need for content. Uh, HR, I think that uh, kind of wasted. I think that people who are doing this should be incentivized as a community to grow it. Um, obviously, there's coders and that sort of thing, and some of them uh, do this as a full-time job. We can look at the numbers and what what they've created and what is needed, and we can scale back. I'm uh, like, this is this is. Uh, you know what you got to do marketing no longer needed we can get rid of that so sit right out of the bat we're saving a great deal of money uh all we have to do is add a little uh bar there and have it link up to bounties um obviously that's going to be a a lot of the back end is going to be a little bit different with um uh what is it kind of like a middleman uh person who's going to approve uh, the the transactions, but for now we can literally do it uh, manually. No funds uh, manually to get it tested until we can get enough capital to afford to implement this. This can be done manually. We can have um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a custodial, essentially, um, who will broker the deal, essentially. Um, so there's that. Um, we can have someone like potato, tomato, uh, sorry, tomato. I don't know why I said potato. Tomato said, uh, you know, he's looking, he wants to create a partnership manager after the meeting we had, uh, based off of hire someone who is, uh, task oriented with marketing, hire someone that knows how to talk to talk is proactive, great at communication, find out, uh, the performance based compensation package 
Enable the person to offer potential terms of projects like podcasting. Enable the person to offer potential terms. Make sure this person builds up the database of projects. You know, all these different things. This was um, June 5th. This is mine. Uh, this was uh, last month, I think. And I called it the Bounty Hunter because Tomato had a cool name. And I was saying that we need exactly that. Someone who looks to create and connect with projects that can uh, bring in money for creators. Um, dedication to building communities and a strong in, uh, approach to content creation and sponsorships. Uh, influencer engagement, so uh, connecting with influencers uh, in order to leverage their audience. Sponsorship acquisition, so exactly those that, that uh, partnership manager position. Uh, content strategy, so help the creators bring a more uh, viewers to their own channel, they'll want to grow. Program management, so oversee this. Feedback and improvement, podcasting, and so forth. And I go deeper into it with uh, compensation for uh, performance, how I wouldn't take any money. It would be uh, strictly performance-based. Uh, so there was that. So pretty much the same thing. Um, so we need a double, and, and with this, it bring, really brings in a loop here. And uh, I don't know if I, yeah, we need to double down, narrow down and double down. Uh, and what do I mean by that? So there's a few things like, I think we're spread too wide on a lot of the market. I mean, we're in uh, Gate, Mexi, Bit, Bit, Bitmart, X, uh, XT, Economy, Change Now, Stealth. But these are just more places for people to unload and not people to buy. And like, I, yeah, you can buy here, but there's really no reason to buy in a sense uh, because there's no value in Joystream. There's not a, uh, a demand for it in a sense, uh, and it's only going down. And it's being in all these markets, having to refill the tokens, is just going to put a, a, a strain on um, the the token price. Uh, so personally, I think we need to take two steps back to take ten steps forward. Like if if these are asking if these places are asking us to with refill, like besides like change now and and Mexi, I would not I wouldn't do anything. Uh, I would keep Me uh, Mexi and change now and say, sorry guys, we're, we're narrowing down our, uh, our, our focus and we're going double down on Mexi. That way we can uh, not spread ourselves too thin. I mean, all these price, uh, prices are all over the point, put point and it's just bringing the price down. So if you can put it in one and narrow it down and then inject it with capital, it's going to increase the price overall. Uh, and then we can start spreading for volume, but now it's just narrowing down the focus. Um, so I think having base is a good idea, Bridge. Uh, I'll get into that later. Uh, MetaMask is great because more uh, people can do that. Uh, community features we need to double down on because for content creators, something we don't need at the moment, but something that I think will uh, bring value, kind of like a Streamlabs. Uh, staking pools also is a great thing. Uh, I have a lot more uh, that I would do uh, because, uh, actually I'll get into it now. All right, so we have our handy dandy notepad sketch pad. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be a job board essentially job board and creators are going to come and they're going to be like i can earn money and they'll click on these buttons and be like cool i can earn you know i want to earn 200 dollars today and so they'll come here and like oh cool i made 200 dollars. that's awesome and so those communities so I need to change this up here. Those communities uh, will, on the back end, uh, creators can build. And that's kind of what the roadmap here is with um, 
premium gating features, video communities, creator token, clay, uh, social collaboration. So cool. So you have that in the back end, but I mean, nothing that, that needs to be uh, um, built at this very moment. So those are creator uh, activities uh, or video communities, and that's great. So these creators build their communities um, at some point here, but they come here for our job board of Gleave to earn and do a advertisement on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, on whatever, you know, whatever the, the, the advertisers want. So this doesn't limit us to Web 2 or Web 3 because we can get Web 2 people also. We can talk to, uh, you know, a big company and be like, hey, we can, we have this advertiser, this advertiser, this advertiser. Uh, would you be interested in uh, have, potentially having them uh, do something for you? And we can have tags that essentially target only influencers with only a thousand uh, subscribers, or only uh, ten thousand, or or only percentage of engagement. You know, whatever that is. We can we can do all that, and we can tell them to like, hey, link your social media to this platform, which gives us more data. And so, in doing so, now you have a whole business that's running off of creators. That will give you the data and now you just need to find the the, the the sponsors because these creators are going to tell other creators hey i'm earning like a thousand dollars a day by you know going to this job board and earning from the sponsors and the sponsors are going to buy joy a percent of, the, of that joy is going to go to the treasury which cuts out minting no more uh, part of it is going to go to the buyback of joy uh, which i mean that's the main part of it so that increases the price of joy no mintings involved it pays for the salaries now because now we have can afford the expenses and part of it goes to the communities which then gets the viewership because the content creators are like, hey, uh, join my community. You can actually buy part of my community and all these tasks I do uh, right here, I, I earn money for doing it and you can be a part of that. If you wanna earn money too, just join my community. And so now that's creating a feedback loop that is bringing outside capital from um, sponsors by, uh, where is it? Where by um, my bounty hunter position. Uh, now you can repurpose the uh, ambassadors. Um, you can repurpose the uh, ambassador program instead of trying to get uh, create joy uh, people, they can get paid based off of what advertisers they bring. And trust me, I get a lot of people who send me emails about, hey, can you promote this? Um, and I say, maybe. Uh, if I bring something and it closes and a, a creator does it, then they can get a percentage of it. So it's like, if you don't want to do something, you can bring it to the job board and post it and um, create up terms. And I'll, like um, what Tomato talked about, Tomato talked about how a lot of um, creators don't know how to there's a lot of co uh, contracts involved and blah, blah, blah. But right now, um, creators don't know how to create contracts. So you guys can be the contract creator for that and use eDoc. So that's it, guys. I hope this was enlightful. I just showed you how you can make... Um, I mean, I can make this prettier, but I think this kind of shows you how you can offset investors, how you don't need... Uh, so much money going out and how you can really change this around. So vote for me, please.